promised that once a while we will turn the lenses inwards to focus on the structure and functions of the Nigerian Shippers Council, NSC, in order to help the public understand who we are and probably more importantly who and what we are not. We cannot say it enough times. NSC is not a ship-owning entity. It is an advocate for those who do own vessels and all whose interests need to be protected in the cause of relating with the maritime sector. We feel like we need to get that off our chests. Today on The Shipper, we showcase the Regulatory Services Department, one of the key operations departments of the Council. I welcome you to this episode of The Shipper. My name is Rekia Zikru Yagoyaju. We'll take a short break now. When we return, we'll dig into Regulatory Services Department and Shegma Lukutu will take us on a journey into the maritime sector around the world on his segment, Tidbits. Don't go away. Nigerian ship has cancelled day to serve you well. No matter the problem, we go solve them for you. Yes, so the Nigerian ship has cancelled the feeling of parole now for every level. And as soon as goods, they move from port A, go enter port B with a measure within on a needle. For the Nigerian ship has cancelled, we don't shop proper to fit here you well. Work with you well and help you fit serve your customers them better, no matter where them day. As we country port economic regulator, the Nigerian ship has cancelled get every every now to film make government consider the problem when she pass them the face visit with office phone number four or to buy your daily show your daily a papa email us for nsc at shipperscouncil.gov.ng we website now www.shipperscouncil.gov.ng nigerian shippers council with a meet now for the port of nanir welcome back you are watching The Shipper, the flagship program of the Nigerian maritime sector. The program is brought to you by the Nigerian Shippers Council, the nation's port economic regulator. There can be no order without laws, rules and regulations. And so it falls on Nigerian Shippers Council to ensure that all runs smoothly in the maritime sector by working with other stakeholders and sister agencies. The Nigerian Shippers Council is expected to protect Nigerian shippers, vis-a-vis -vis area of freight, arbitrary charges or illegal charges, and also to be the economic regulator of the port. It is true the council will got to know that our port, there are other ports, West African countries that are competing with the uh, Nigerian port. That is why that anything we are doing, we should do it in the way by which the neighboring country we now hijack the activities from Nigeria. Lucy Lube now brings us details of what exactly the Regulatory Services Department does. Lucy? Since coming on board as one of the major port regulators, the Nigerian Shippers Council has become a force to reckon with in the Nigerian maritime industry. One of the major objectives for establishing the Nigerian Shippers Council was to provide a forum for the protection of the interest of shippers in matters affecting the import and export of goods to and from Nigeria, as well as advise the federal government of sundry matters. Over the years, the Council has provided a platform for consultations between conference and non-conference lines, the Nigerian Ports Authority and the federal government on matters of common interest. The agency also addresses problems faced by shippers with regards to coastal transport, inland waterways transport and matters relating generally to the transportation of goods by water. What has happened over the years is that the Council has developed standards and enforced the same at the ports as part of measures to promote efficiency, import operations and ensure an effective regulatory regime for controlled tariff and rates. Before now, these rates and tariffs were unilaterally fixed by service providers, a situation which watchers of the industry say was not in the interest of the various stakeholders, especially port users. We've been able to set standards for container terminals. So we have KPIs that we measure them against and we report on those KPIs. Uh, secondly, we've looked at the nomenclature of uh, the providers of service. 
because we find out that most of them introduce um, costs, cost headings like tariff headings, without proper approval. You know, Shippers Council actually set up to also in 1997 we have a regulation on the local shipping charges, whereby the providers of service would have to get approval from Nigerian Shippers Council before they levy any charge on the users of their service. So what we've done is to harmonize um, most of them. We haven't completed the assignment, but we harmonize them, like, I would say 88% of the providers of service. Another area of concern for the Nigerian Shippers Council is the poor level of cooperation among the various stakeholders which the Deputy Director, Monitoring and Enforcement Division of the NSC, Selim Ifora, explain is the major setback in port operations. The difficulty we have here is the difficulty in accepting change. Because people who were already controlling their activities the way they, want, they wanted are now feeling that it's a challenge to come and control them. So that's a problem. But we are working towards it. To a certain extent, we've got them to understand that there's no way government can just you know, fold its hands and watch people do what they want to do, when they want to do it, or how they want to do it. The officials of the department conduct round-the-clock routine monitoring to ensure strict compliance, as explained by the Deputy Director, Standard Services Division, Muhammad Abubakar. Operational performance of the port means you have to set standard so that you will be able to measure the performance of the port. Based on that, the, the division was able to set standard for container terminals in terms of key performance indicators. We set the standard and then we also monitor the standard. And apart from that, we also develop the standard operating procedures for the council, which each and every agency that is linked to the port has to have standard operating procedures. And so that you state clearly what are your services, the timelines, and then ensure that it is being complied. The NSC has a responsibility of setting critical guidelines that prevent monopoly and dominance of market position by establishing and maintaining effective platforms for negotiation of freight rates and other related transport costs. According to the Deputy Director, Marketing Analysis and Tariff Administration, Margaret Ogbonna, the NSC has responsibly performed this function through the years. We are involved in two things. One, we are involved in, in monitoring in what we call the indicative freight rates. The freight rates are the charges for ocean carriage of cargoes coming into the, the country. And um, those uh, freight rates are affected by the market forces. But sometimes there could be introduction of some of the surcharges that will impact heavily on the economy. Um, the department monitors it or gets complaints as regarding such costs, and um, the management takes uh, immediate action to look into those costs. Then we have what we call the local shipping charges. And what is that local shipping charge? The local shipping charge is the charges you pay at the port of destination for the clearance of your goods, the freight rates are paid for the transportation of the goods, which we monitor the indicative freight rates and they compare it with other um, neighboring ports and also other ports of the world. We have about eight trade routes we monitor and um, we publish those uh, freight rates in our website. It's indicative, it helps shippers in their negotiation to have an idea of what the average freight rate is coming to the port in Nigeria. However, the level of compliance to these operational guidelines at the ports has been quite impressive and the Nigerian Shippers Council, working with other sister agencies and stakeholders, is making efforts in sanitizing the industry. We were dealing with the NPA until 
will now come to understand that the oversized function has been given to Nigerian ship as a cancer. We are not really dealing much with them until there were problems. Problems in the sense that uh, agents start complaining about congestion in the terminal. Their containers not reaching then cars when due. Talking about charges, which they say is uh, outrageous and all that. That was when we saw shippers uh, cancer visiting us to know the problems. For most of the port users, it has become imperative for the government to develop a viable technological capacity that will translate to electronic services at the port to reduce human contact to the barest minimum. This, they say, is one sure way of reducing corruption at the nation's seaports. Roads are bad, and the most difficult issue we have today in this industry is too much face-to-face uh, -face transaction, too much body-to-body -body -body transactions. Elsewhere around the world, you go to your computer and do whatever you want to do, and you carry your cargo. But in Nigeria, you have to pass through, pass through, pass through, and you give room to whom do you know? Whom do you know? Whom do you know? So that is the greatest challenge in the industry. Such move, they all agree, will not only enhance port operation, but make ports in the country competitive, user-friendly, and attract foreign direct investment into Nigeria. Shippers Council, as we know them, have been following up even to us, to the shippers, to the terminal operators, with the importers trying to safeguard their investment in the industry and see how to facilitate trade in a seamless situation. So I give them that credit for their performances in that area. Shipping is at the core of the survival of every economy and Nigeria with its almost 1,000 kilometers of coastline cannot afford to allow that sector descend into chaos. NSC continues to keep its eye on the ball 365 days of the year. It's now time to join Shegun Aloko on a voyage around the world of maritime activities on Titbits. <music> Welcome to the Titbit segment of the foremost maritime program on television, The Shipper. I am Oluwa Shegun Aloko. The Nigerian Shippers Council, NSC, and the Badon Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines, and Agriculture have resolved to partner in facilitating trade in the interest of stakeholders. This was the high point of an interactive session between the two organizations when the president of the Badon Chambers, Sashola Abodonri led a delegation of the Import-Export Trade Group on a courtesy visit to the Nigerian Shippers Council in Ibadan. Speaking during the visit, Mr. Glory Onojedo, the Southwest Zonal Director of NSC, said that the Ibadan Inland Dry Port and the Erumu Inland Container Depot are two critical transport infrastructures that will bring shipping business close to businesses in the entire Southwest Zone. Mr. Onojero said collaboration in facilitating trade will ensure that stakeholders are adequately served. The Executive Secretary and CEO of the Nigerian Shippers Council, Honorable Emmanuel Jime, has commended the council staff of the Purpose Cooperative Society for their transparency in handling members' funds. The cooperative received this commendation when the President, Mr. Bashir Ambi, accompanied by some members of his executives, briefed the chief executive on the achievements of the cooperative since 2017 when they came on board. The president assured the ESEO that the cooperative would always protect the interest of members of the cooperative. Next is news on shipping across the globe. In southern China, 15 seafarers stranded on board the Boca, Angelic Power, have returned home after up to 17 months on board the vessel. The restrictions brought by the pandemic 
and legal issues under their company at the late homecoming of the seafarers who were detained by the Guangzhou Maritime Court on December 11. Due to an economic dispute between the cargo receiver Guangzhou South China Coat Trade Center Company and the ship's owners, Angeliki Dynamic Investments, Greece. Only recently did the court allow five Chinese relief crew to go on board the vessel to learn about its operations and let the 15 abandoned crew finally go home. Boca owner and operator Berge Borg has launched a pilot test to try the maritime application of solar technology. The test is being carried out on Berge K2, the company's 262,600 dead weight tonnage or carrier. According to Berge Borg, the test installation produces 100 kilowatts of electrical power, which is fed into the main electrical grid on the ship to supplement the box carrier diesel generators. Through the test, the company will be observing and assessing how the panels withstand the stresses while at sea during import cargo operations. Bergeborg said that following the pilot test, it plans to evolve the trial to a 1,000 kilowatts installation. The Global Shipping Business Network, GSBN, a blockchain-based digital trade documentation platform, has announced to roll out its first application, Cargo Release, in China. GSBN is developing an independent, not-for-profit blockchain-enabled operating system for global trade. With a Cargo Release application operating on this infrastructure, Cargo Release offers a paperless, highly efficient, and transparent solution connecting everyone involved at port of import, including shipping lines, consignees, agents, and terminals. By eliminating the need for paper, it simplifies data exchange and shortens operation time among parties with three-time updates, cutting the time for cargo to be document ready for release from days to a matter of hours. This is exciting and we'll all be watching closely. And now to our complaint register for the week. A total number of 10 complaints were received. One has been resolved, and nine are ongoing investigations. Some of these complaints include demolish charge, loss of cargo, damage to cargo, arbitrary charges, lien on container, delay in transfer, and delayed debit note. The Nigerian Shippers Council continues to ease the burden of shippers while proffering solutions that facilitate trade and ease movement of goods within the maritime logistics chain. Here is a letter from Casano Agency Services appreciating the council for its prompt intervention in the release of its containers which was illegally blocked. We want to use this medium to show appreciation on how your staffs intervened promptly and blocked our 240 foot containers which was illegally blocked by maritime police at APM terminal. We also want to acknowledge your efforts in sanitizing the maritime industry. From time to time, the Maritime Anti-Corruption Network's EPDEX receives and forwards complaints to the Nigerian Shippers Council. The statistics compiled from such complaints for the past one year show that the maritime industry is gradually seeing improvement. Here is the one-year activity report. Total vessel pre-arrival notification is over 204. Total complaints received is 27 with 26 valid cases, 12 against seaports and 14 against terminals. Total complaints resolved and closed is 24. Average duration for resolution of cases is 8 hours. The number of complaints by subject type are Health Inspectorate Service Levy, 2. Demand for bribe to grant free patrick to vessel, 2. Demand for bribe to clear vessel of travel formalities as per standard operating procedure. 8. Permit of crew without proper medical pass or certificate. 1. Illegal demands from commercial vessels. 3. Improper documentation for crew members. 8. Illegal entry of non-documented crew member. 1. And double charges with different security agencies. 1. Case. Total number of reported incidents stands at 11 as of July 2020 and 0 as of June 2021. Awesome improvement 
you must agree. Here is a reminder to all regulated service providers, such as terminal operators, badge operators, shipping companies, freight forwarders, and clearing agents amongst others to register with the council. Failure to do so will attract penalties. Registration can be done via the website www.shipperstraddata.gov.ng and that's it on Tidbit for this week. And that's it on our program today. Do remember to register with Nigeria Shippers Council as a regulatory service provider on www.shipperstraddata.gov.ng. It's been a pleasure bringing you the program. But the bigger pleasure, as always, is having you join us. Let's do this again next week when we'll bring you another exciting episode of The Shipper. Until then, have a swimmingly great week. Goodbye. Thank you.